Hey guys, Scotty here. In this video, I'll be showing you how to assemble your Pro Model 4th Axis Gimbal Stabilizer. If you'd like to see the showcase video instead, there's a link in the description that will take you right there. The Pro version comes fully assembled for sale. This video is for people who do it themselves. First you'll need a few tools. This is what I use, but you can get by with other tool combinations. OK, now you have all your 3D printed parts together. We'll start by gluing the nuts and bolts into their knobs. All nuts and bolts in this project are the photographic standard of quarter 20 thread. You'll need four nylock nuts, two regular nuts, and two three quarter inch bolts. We're trying to glue the outside of the nuts and bolts together without getting any on the threads. I use a matchstick to get right in there, but a toothpick would be even better. Clean up any excess epoxy before leaving a side to set. I add a nut to the bolts to make sure they set straight. Now we'll glue in the nut into the dynamic side of the fluid dampener. Once set, we'll fill the grease into the fluid dampeners. I use standard lithium grease, which I fill into a small syringe. I also melt the end of the syringe with a lighter and squish it down flat, but not closed, so that it can easily fit into the grooves of the dynamic side of the fluid dampener. Once filled, I gently rotate the matching dampener sides together to spread the grease evenly. If no grease comes out the sides, I'll do this process a second time until it does and then clean up any excess. I printed these in grey, but now I recommend using a two colour print in something like white and then black so that the amount of dampening can be seen through the dampening body's window. I use paint to make up for this. You can see why it's important when you see it assembled here. Now we'll get all our tools and bits and pieces together. You'll need two steel washers, 14 thin brass washers, six nylock nuts, plus the four you've already glued into the knobs, two wing nuts with one side drilled to about 1 8 of an inch or three millimeters and the other side cut off. There's the two extension springs detailed in the description. I also used two short compression springs I had laying about to use in the handle rosette bolt. This is optional. There's two 1.5 inch bolts for the rosette handle. In mushroom headed fully threaded bolts we have four 3 inch so that's 75mm and six 2.5 inch so that's 60mm bolts and the already glued parts and your tools. Grab your extension springs, spring adjustment knobs, wing nuts and the two spring adjuster 3D prints. Together with the mushroom headed fully threaded bolts in 3 inch length, attach the wing nuts to the spring and with the lobe pointed down, screw in the bolt all the way through and add the spring adjuster knob on top. Once you get the bolt screwed into the nylock, you'll need to screw it in until there's only a very small amount of play in between the bolt and the body. You should be able to turn the bolt freely. I locate the wing nuts at the bottom as this makes it easier when attaching the bottom arms. Now we'll attach the rosette handles. First, the optional spring. Then we hold the bolt head at the back of the handle. A 
steel washer and finally the handle knobs. Now we'll attach the handle assembly to the gimbal support with the top and bottom arms. Attach the spring to the gimbal support with a two and a half inch bolt. Making sure to place a thin brass washer on each side between the plastic parts. Finally add the nylock nut, we'll tighten them later. Now we'll add the top arms. Slide in the fluid dampening module and slot in the top arm. The bolt will need to be screwed in as it will screw through the nut in the fluid dampening module. You'll add a thin brass washer to the knob side. Tighten the adjuster knob fully. There are bumps on the mating surfaces that are there to stop your adjustment from loosening over time. You want to fine tune this adjustment as it needs to just be enough to hold onto the bumps, but not too much as it's hard to turn. If you rotate the dampener to the low dampening position, the support arm should rotate freely. Now attach the handle assembly to the top arm with two brass washers. Now we'll add the last bolt. This last one is under tension so the easiest way to do this is with some help, although you can easily do it yourself. Start by levering back the handle while propping the gimbal support against something. And with your free hand, place the brass washer and then insert the bolt on the nut side. Screw in the bolt and it should push the temporary bolt out. This bolt is only used to hold the bottom arm in place as you'll be inserting the actual bolt from the other side. Slip in the brass washer and insert the bolt. Hand tighten the nylock nut. Now tighten down all the nylock nuts till they start to clamp down on the supports. Once they're all tightened, you'll notice the bolt clamps down on the supports, impeding the free movement of the arms. That's why you need to back them off between one and three turns to remove any clamping force from the bolts. And now we need to lock the retention half nut in place. First screw the half nut onto the end of the wheel bolt. Now you'll use a small amount of fast cure epoxy resin such as Araldite and delicately dab it on the thread without getting any on any other parts. A toothpick is great for this. Now slowly tighten this nut until there's just a little bit of play left. Once the epoxy resin initially sets, give the wheel a gentle turn just in case the nut has accidentally got stuck to the plastic. And that's it! Now you just need to adjust the stabilizer to suit your payload. 
and then you're set to go out into the world and make some buttery smooth movies. If you post any footage online made with the stabiliser, then please post a link to it in the description. I'm sure others would love to see it too. I know I would. Okay, thanks for watching. I can't wait to see what you guys film with this. If you like this video, please leave a thumbs up or post a comment. Bye.